Okay. No, my delay, my delay. We don't care, you're the board. Continue. Okay. Um, I'm going to, the both, um, I know, I know. Yeah. 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 Y
or agenda item and will, if applicable, conclude with a decision to vote on the recommendation. When the agenda is finished, the meeting will be adjourned. <coughs> okay. So what we will start with right now will be introductions and attendance. I'm going to do attendance first and then we'll be followed by introductions of, of other than uh, committee members. Betty Arce, present. Helene hartman Kidnowski, present. Um, Gwendolyn thomas D. she's absent. Jean Hill. Present. Rosalie Leslie. Present. Hugo Gonzalez. Present. Lowell Green. Absent. Kazi Noor. Present. Okay. So I'll now I'm going to open. Are there any board members here other than those that are on the committee? Okay. So we'll go around the room. Uh, those obviously you know who we are. So let's here. Let's go this way. Uh, could you please say who you are? Sure. My name is Shelly Rondon. I live in Bedford Park. Uh, my friend Madeline asked me to come. I'm glad to be here. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm Marilyn Reyes. Uh, just a community resident and uh, uh, part of the senior center here at the Oval. I'm Candida Nichols. Uh, I live in Bedford Park as well. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Anthony Richard. I'm also a resident of Bedford Park. Yes. Kazi Moore. Uh, I'm also a resident. I'm a board member. You. Okay. Uh, so everybody knows uh, <laughs> I suffered an incident on the 24th. So I, I mean, I've been declared ADA. Uh, so. I'm Sirio Garino, uh, enforcement for Garino's Against Graffiti and a co-founder of Crusaders for Children's Rights, and I'm very concerned for my community. Okay. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Thank you for your, uh, thank you. For your I apologize. That's quite all right. AJ? If the public can't speak, I'm not giving my name in this meeting. Thank you. Okay, no problem. You it's against the charter okay. and the audit. No That's problem, all. thank you. Yes, my rights are denied, right. I will sue. No thank problem. you. All right, uh, review of the January 2024 minutes. They're in the packet. Please review, let me know if there's anything at amiss. Um, Colleen took very concise minutes. And um, make sure that if, if the attendance is correct, just make sure, at least, at least for that, I want to make sure that those uh, members in attendance were in attendance and that's reflected. Okay. Is there any edits or changes that you feel need to be amended? Um, before we start, I have a quick question. Why aren't the public allowed to speak today? We'll discuss that afterwards right now. Let's okay. finish this, okay? We're doing board business. Considering we have like you know, two public That's quite fine. A committee meeting is a working meeting. I'm, I'm going to digress just to give you the background. A committee meeting is a working meeting. Okay? Board members are working on whatever the agenda is. If there are there's comments on the agenda, then fine. We will entertain the board, uh, a, com a community members to speak on those. I, I'm, I'm looking at in the past and what has happened is that sometimes these meetings become where people come with a lot of complaints that we can't address at these meetings. So that's why I say those kinds of things, ask the district manager to, you know, to follow up, those kinds of things. But comments on the agenda, that's fine. That's not an issue. Okay? So any new topics or, or any questions? Unless, unless there, if there's time. I'm here, we're here, we have to be out of here by eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. So if there is, I don't know what new topics are needed. If there's an issue in the community, it's a problem. Or a question. Then, if there's a question you could have, we will follow up after we have completed our business. Would you say call district managers off? Yeah. Yeah, we will follow oh. up with that. And where in the bylaws okay. does it say that business meetings the public can't speak? Because the charter says in any public meeting by a public body, the public can't okay. speak. Okay, we're not having a discussion on that. The answer is done. And okay, so that is done. Like so I just want to For the record, I would like that to be challenged. Fine, fine. Yes, challenge it all you want. Exactly. Fine. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm, there's no more discussion. We are right now, the agenda item is the 
minutes from the last meeting. We need to approve them and move on. And I'm sorry I'm being curt, but I need to follow, I want to follow procedures as much as possible. But you're late as well, so it's kind of, okay? we'll so let's to move the public on. that are here. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes? Motion to approve the minutes. Can I second. get a second? Second? Okay. Let me make that. Mm. No? <laughs> so I'm going to do a voice, uh, 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 a roll call vote. Betty Arce approves the minutes. Helene stepped out. She's right Helene, do you approve the minutes? <coughs> yes. Okay. Gwendolyn is absent. Jean Hill. Approve, approve the minutes. Rosalie Leslie. I approve. Okay. Hugo Gonzalez. Approves. Okay. Kazi Noor. Approves. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay. Next on the agenda will be um let's see what we got. So the new business is, I do have, a, and I have to check, let me check my phone because I had a, we had a list of things that we wanted the Department of Sanitation to uh, address. And um, I got a call from the, um, from DSNY that they were going to answer them, but I haven't received them. So, um, <laughs> ah, wait a minute, let me see, no. That's the Sanitation Foundation. Uh, no. So he said that he would have them for me. Um, ah, I'm sorry. Here it is. Okay. So one of the issues that came up was school trash. Um, I asked how often is school trash collected? Mm. Are recyclables also picked up? Are the large containers being used for compostables? You know, for organic waste or whatever? Um, how can schools obtain more containers if needed? And the answers are, generally speaking, schools are saturated with pickup service and have typically have one or multiple commodity service daily. Schools should email, and there's an email for, uh, for DSNY related services such as supplemental containers. So um, I'm going to send this to the board um, with a link. Uh, if you know of schools or you have some issue, you, you have a relationship with the school, and you think that they would uh, benefit from having additional containers. The problem is storing the containers when they're not in use. And some cool schools have problems with that. So, um, But there's, a, there's apparently, um, we still, I think, there's a, a bit of a disconnect because we do see schools, there's a lot of mm -hmm. garbage that piles up. I mean, schools do use a lot of, I mean, they are generators of a lot of trash and a lot of um, recyclables, a lot. You know. Recy receptacles for recyclables on the commercial strip of Kingsbridge Road. This is uh, their issue, Kazi. Mm -hmm. A board member from the Kingsbridge area is interested in having bins for recycling glass, bottles, and paper in addition to regular trash and soil in the area. What is the process for requesting? The department is not currently putting out public recycling bins. We found that many of the bins were not being used properly and the recyclables being collected were contaminated. That was the answer. So we will... That, that'll be a follow-up type of thing. We'll try to continue to see how, how we can figure that one out as much as possible. Um, are religious institutions exempt from being fined for sanitation violations? Religious institutions, uh, particularly where they operate food pantries on weekends and leave food cartons and trash bags on the sidewalk, which won't be collected for several days. Not to mention how they dispose of organic matter such as fruits and vegetables that are not given away. Will these be required to containerize their trash? Religious institutions are required to follow the same rules as residents, which means that come the fall, when residents have to containerize and have garbage bins, religious institutions will have to do the same thing. So up until now, they, they don't have to. Is that compost too? I'm sorry. No, they don't. They they they're not part of. They're not like schools. Schools can uh, can put out for compost, but religious institutions are treated like residents. So until we have compost collected um, for residents, religious institutions follow the same. Is a volunteer. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have this conversation with you. I apologize. Should they be volunteering to do it if they want to? Compost? No, they can't because it won't be picked up. But they we have, have to, those things in the street. Well, they can do that. Thank you. They can do that if they want to. Yeah, they can go to uh, smart things. Yeah. Um, 
So that would be the kind of thing uh, that would happen. Are businesses such as hair salons, tattoo parlors, banks, pharmacies, and similar services required to contract with a private hauler? And are they re also required to containerize their trash? Yes and yes. So even the small business that you see on, on some residential blocks mm -hmm. are supposed to have a private hauler take away their trash. Okay, they're not supposed to put out stuff for the, for the sanitation, sanitation department to pick up. But you know what they do? They will sneak it over to somebody. They will sneak it out to the building's garbage. Right. The building's garbage. Uh, yes and yes. All commercial businesses are required to have a private carter, and therefore they fall under the commercial rules. Those are the ones that I would have to have for private carters, you said? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Tattoo parlors, beauty parlors, or whatever. Now, they may have like very small amount of trash. Um, and that's something that, you know, I, right now, I don't, I don't have the capacity to follow up or the, it's not DSNY's responsibility, um, but I will find out because there is, there is a process whereby uh, businesses are supposed to have a contract with a private hauler. So I'll find out, that'll be another follow-up question to see because we wanna make sure that they are doing their due diligence in both keeping their uh, their area clean and doing what's right in terms of having a container and having that private hall and take it away. Um, a lot of times it's, um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them kind of sneak the, the garbage over to a corner. Corner mm -hmm. so, they yeah. yeah. Or they yeah. take so it home and throw it out in their regular house. Probably a quarter, or somewhere, or not even near their house, probably on their way on their way home. Right. Yes, they could be. Dump in their tree or on a tree. Yeah, so that's something to. I mean, I know close. that they. I I have to check and see. There is a merchants association for a lot of the commercial strips, um, and uh, the bid. So I'll find out if there's information we can get on how we confirm that every business in our business commercial areas actually do. Um, have a contract with a private hauler. Okay, so those are the. That's what I was able to get so far. If you have other questions, email me. I have requested repeatedly for you to email me, and I have yet to receive an email from any community member. <laughs> no, I will give you my email. Um, you know those kinds of questions you have. Let me know so that I can then follow up. We don't get. We're, unfortunately, other than DEP uh, FER Design, who it, always. Um, offers to come to our meetings. We have um, DSNY reps are limited in when they can send them out to community meetings. You know, they, they'll send them out probably to general board meetings a lot of times. So uh, that's how I use this process to communicate with, um, with our uh, representatives. And, and they've been very, very helpful in providing information. I think they just get inundated with a lot of stuff that is repetitive and a lot of times there's that very little that they can do. But I just wanted to tell you, Sirio, that the, uh, the Lutheran Church on, on Decatur, DSNY actually sent out a garbage truck to clean up that whole strip there, that whole area. You know, the, all that garbage that I told you, the church left, the thrift store, you know, Sophie, Sophia's thrift store. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They actually sent out a truck, because I made a 311 complaint, and they sent out a truck. Right, and they sent out a truck to clean up not just the garbage, but to sweep. They swept that whole area. May I, this you, may I respond? Yeah. Permission to respond? Uh, do they have that, a written report that you can? I don't know, I, I was a witness. I'm the witness. I know, but see, when I talk to people, I can't have to my witness. Right, but, the, but there's nothing to... Know, uh, I'm just letting you know that they responded by doing something that I, okay. I didn't expect them to do. Well, yeah, well, you know, the DOT only has those huge trucks. I'm not going to send them anything. Mm -hmm. Second thing is, uh, I am working on a way of... Oh, being that you brought up, everybody's got a kid. Merchants make a, a, an internal agreement to all share one carter. They can. They right. can. Not, they not, to do that? Yes, they, but they don't have to. But yes, that, that, that is that the... Is that an option without, without being fined? 
Right. There's no. There's no. There's no reason okay. why they can't share a, a Carter's. And uh, the, bid, the bid or a merchant association be involved with the demolish uh, removal. Sure, they can if they have. If they want to. Yeah. That's a yeah. plus. Okay. I need. Yeah. I need. I need uh, verification, or I need the. Uh, you know, the thumbs up on these questions. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. That's why yeah. I'm answering them because mm -hmm. I don't have an mm -hmm. answer. Yeah. Okay, you're dealing with a sick mind here, okay? So, uh, is there a third one? Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, all right, that kind of like. But I just wanted to, this, there was a, a thrift shop that operates on, on weekends, and when they are finished on a Saturday, now Saturday morning is our collection on our block. It all happens right. to be on my block. So when they finish and they have uh, stuff to throw out, clothes that they're not selling, they bag it up and they leave it there. And our next collection is not until Tuesday. So what happens is, what happens is, is that um, people come around mm -hmm. and rip open the bags mm -hmm. because they figure there might be stuff in there that they can take and they just leave it. Yeah. Okay. So that was the issue that I saw on a, Sunday morning, I think it was. Yes, yes, Luther. Yes. So, you. so therefore, I so made these. I made a report, and I spoke to Adam, and uh, I was shocked. The, uh, within the like later on the afternoon, when I was walking the dog, someone had bagged up the, the stuff, but they left it there. The thing is that it, the truck had already come in the morning to pick up garbage, so that garbage is going to stay there anyway. But at least it was cleaned up. Yeah. And so I was very surprised to see, I think it was Sunday or Monday morning, the sanitation truck came and was there. And not only did they just take the stuff, but they were also sweeping, which I was very surprised. Because next to the Lutheran is, the, is a 24-hour check cashing place. Yeah. So they're responsible. And yeah. there's, no, I've, I've seen them. I've seen them, but not all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but they're responsible for sweeping up. Every business is responsible for cleaning up their, uh -huh. their spot. And so because the, the, the 24 hours uh, store goes around the corner, it's uh -huh. on one and then mm -hmm. goes around, they're supposed to clean that up as well. Anyway, whatever it was, it was just very surprising, pleasantly so, but mm -hmm. still, we still need to get the Lutheran, uh, the thrift shop to mm -hmm. do a better job. And I yeah. spoke to Serio about getting that done. So let's not, I don't want to, I don't want to stress this one out. Two points. Uh, the Lutheran Church doesn't have a, a large preference or, you know, people. They don't have a large members for the Lutheran Church. So Sophie's in charge basically because she's been there since she's 86 years old. She's in charge. Right. The young gentleman who helps her. Raven. Uh, Raymond. Raven. 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 That's, that's her son. Correct. That's her son. Uh, He's HDA. Yeah, but he's a That's why, that's why it's not, and nobody is, is helping out. Okay, let's just, like I said, let's that's just. That's it, that's all I want to yeah. say. They have, they have space to put the garbage, they have a, a, the basement downstairs. They can put the, 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 cause it's not, it's not organic stuff, it's clothes. So it can be kept, it can be kept down in that basement. Mm -hmm. So that was, I just wanted to stress that. So that being said, a good thing, and I'm surprised, I'm, I'm sorry that Lowell's not here. We are going to have a free electronics collection on March the 17th, okay? And I'm gonna give out some flyers on that. Somebody sent me a note, Betty, mm -hmm. asking if they could do the e-waste collection, which is the electronic collection. They didn't do it. At Tracy. It has to be done with the DSNY. Yes. It was from them. I oh, they were asking for space. They were asking me for space. Wonderful. That so would be great. I have yes. to get back to them. Yeah. Yeah. But I spoke to management and they said, fine, no problem. Yeah. The they thing is, set yeah. There. They yeah. set it up outside. Okay. Let's, let's. All right. but don't you have it already in your building? No, we have it for the, the residents, but they the, want to do it for the community. The, the whole, the this problem, is a community yeah. thing. Right. The thing right. Is, Anybody yeah. in the community could That's just come right. over to Tracy yeah. and The thing is, is that get rid of it. if you want to get rid of your e-waste, you have to take it right now to Hunts Point. And um, 
the Department of Sanitation does do one in the at Orchard Beach once a year, mm -hmm. yeah, but, again, but again, it's like people have you have to have a car to be able to you know. So let's just go quickly over board members. If you have questions, these are the things that you can um, take. So on March 17th, I and I believe Samantha Savatis, one of our other board members, is going to be volunteering. If you would like to volunteer with us, please let us know. You'll be there. Anybody? I need to take names. Who will? What do you need help Bringing stuff in, taking stuff out, whatever. I, but I'm, I'm really right now, I want to focus on board members who can. And if not, then I'll move on to Serio. You'll be there? The company of gay. Okay, this is 17. That's uh, a Sunday. St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's I'll have, Day. I'll have per, paid Everyone's to wear green. It's a green okay. day. That's uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Are you celebrating? Yes. Okay, I do too. But I'll, I'll take I'll take a couple of hours to do this. <laughs> It'll be at uh, and you can see the address. It's at the uh, two twenty nine. So please share. You can take um, <coughs> if you want to take extra flyers to put in your building. Please take some. Um, because a lot of people have been concerned, and Lowell is one of them that okay. has a champion for that. Anybody um, need extra? If not, we'll put them, if we can uh, put them uh, around the neighborhood, okay? Yeah. So these are all the items. If right now, I'm sure many of you have little things or big things. You know, you can get yourself over to 229 East 204th Street with any and any of all these items, except for the ones that are labeled. So it's light bulbs or Mm. Ballast, which I do have, so I'm going to have to take those someplace else. Huh? Batteries. Uh, no, no, no batteries, that. no, not accepted. Mm -hmm. Batteries mm -hmm. is not electronic. Um, no, it's because of, I think, what's ever inside. I live in the too. Appliances, so no appliances, nothing like blenders no or <laughs> microwaves, and no air conditioners because they usually have the Freon in them or something in them, so you can't bring those in. So TVs, which I have seen on the street all over oh, the place. Oh, good. I give them a TV. Computers. <laughs> Old cell phones. Is there? Yes. Uh, yes. Is there a minimum? Or, I'm sorry, a maximum number of these things? No, you can bring whatever you got. I'm living this. I mean, a lot, as long as you're not bringing a truck full of stuff, right? <laughs> I will. Mean, I mean. I'll bring a wagon. I think I have something that's heavy. I think I have a. Uh, a couple of things, uh, printers and scanners, mm -hmm. fax machines, okay. if anybody still uses them. Um, so those are the kind of things that you can bring, okay? So we're looking forward to, um, so it'll be me and, um, yeah, I'll let you know. okay, and Helene, you'll let me know. If any of board members can, right now don't, can commit, but later on, please email me, let me know, and let Carla know as well, okay? And I think I have Samantha. Oh, it says 11 to 4, but yeah. can anyone come in in between that time and they cannot come exactly yet? Or yeah, no, no, you can come at, yeah, yeah, if you can okay. come at 12 or from 12 to 1, if no. you can, if you can give an hour, oh. that's oh. fine, if you want to, but you, you want to come? I will follow up with that. Okay, well, let me know, okay? Yeah, so it doesn't, you don't have to be there for the, for that amount of time, if you can give, you know, an hour or two, that's fine. We'll just email you, Betty, and let you know. Yeah, know. okay, yeah, okay. Very good. Okay, we took care of that. Okay, we don't have any DEP update updates today. Um, Where are we? I'm sorry. DEP. No, so, yeah, DEP. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my folder. Uh, I just want to touch briefly. I'm very frustrated with the uh, with the containerization. Uh, oh, we'll do that one. Yes, let me do that oh, one. Next. Yeah, we'll keep going. Yeah. Why so, you, can I ask a sure. question? Is anyone, how is it going with the Trash Academy? I, I haven't been able to. I have, yeah, I haven't. I've really never been able to go either, even though they do it online. So mm -hmm. what they did with the, I, with the Trash Academy is that you either had to attend some of the, you had two options. One, you had to either attend in person a couple of, they had some mm -hmm. uh, in-person uh, events, plus the uh, classes online to get the certificate. Mm -hmm. Then the other option was just to do everything online, so you can do that. But it's too late right now, they it's closed. It's well, closed. we can do I mean, I can do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we can go back, it. yes, yeah, yeah. But I just haven't had a chance, so has anyone seen no. any? No, I haven't. I had to, what I didn't realize that I had to, I registered. It's a commitment, yeah. I registered, 
And then I realized that I had to do this other type of registration to actually get the same thing with me. Right. right. So now I now I'm getting now I'm getting the uh, the notification so right. for the next meeting. So right. I have to now go and probably do a binge everything. That's you know. what I'm thinking. Yeah. So I'm going to have to do that. So uh, with that said, the other event issue is you know now that all businesses have to containerize their trash. And we have quite a number of, I'm sure that there are businesses, and, and many of them have started, many of them started before, March 1st was the, was the start date. Mm -hmm. Many have started even before that. The ones that have five or more stores, like, uh, like the fast food, all of those that are chains had to have started before. They had to have started, I think, in the fall, October. Um, but um, a lot of our delis and other kinds of businesses are clearly have not uh, followed suit. So we'll have to, I'm going to give out, um, these are in English. And I had uh, the staff do a few in Spanish and a few in, in Bangladesh. Bengali because I do have a couple of stores. I'm just going to hold on to one and I'll make more copies. Uh, we need to make sure that everyone um, is doing the right thing. Okay, so anybody want any in Spanish? Yeah. Thank you. Take one and pass it. <laughs> Take one of the English. If there are any more, we'll put them in the middle of the of the you table. The Spanish, yeah, I'm, I'm passing those out. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I know it's back no, 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 no. Okay, good. Uh, so, like my building is still not up. It's my no, no. Up. Res this is commercial. Residential only so in yeah. September, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Only the only commercial yeah, right yeah. now. That's not. Okay. Thing. I figured if you yeah, had, if you knew about the store, they don't have to. Huh? They don't have to the residential. Not yet. Not yet. Not until of the fall of 2024. And we'll, they'll be using, uh, you can use any kind of container that has a lid. And there's gonna be some exceptions for units of more than 10 because of the, um, the ability or the inability to be able to put out all those containers or a, a large container like they have one in Harlem up in Washington Heights that they hate because it's taking up parking space. Parking yeah. yeah, I mean, not just parking space, but they just think it's ugly. But there's a container, I think a block it is, in uh, Washington Heights that is there. It's not being lifted yet. They don't have the trucks to lift. That's, that's the future, right. <laughs> where they will actually have these trucks that will actually lift and haul it and put it in. But that's not, we're not there yet. So for now, a residents will be asked, both homeowners and um, Apartment buildings that are between one and nine units will be will have to put out. But after two years, there's going to be an official container that everyone will have to use. Mm -hmm. uh, residents, residential, mm -hmm. um, and then and commercial. No, the commercial will continue to be used. I, I'm not sure at this point. I think they're really. This is really like a, they're testing how everything is going. People seem to be using at least most of the stores are using um, containers that that are that fit the capacity of their of their garbage right now. Um, but um, we'll see how that how it works out, you know. In the Let future. me ask you, Betty, so that's for like garbage garbage, these lock containers that the businesses have to use. And in the fall they're gonna have residential buildings. Right. But we do a lot of paper garbage. Well that's recyclable. Boxes. That's recyclable exactly. will always can will remain in plastic bags. It's the okay. garbage garbage mm -hmm. because that's gotcha. what attracts the rats. Mm -hmm. You know, and that includes um, organic waste as well right now because we don't have um, organic collection for residents at this point. So all garbage has to go in those containers and that is supposedly to mitigate, you know, rats coming mm -hmm. in, taking the stuff. So that's what that's for. Years ago they used to use the metal ones, the metal. Right, I mean, right now they can use yeah. whatever they can, but it has to be attached. The, the, the yeah. lid will have to stay attached oh, to the hinge. hinge or chained or however it's done. It's, it's going to have to stay that way. Okay. Can I, can I ask, um, in terms of organic composting, you know, we have the little orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Is there some way to request new location? Sure, yes. That's a question you need to send me so I can, okay. that'll be part of Because I'm yeah. getting so tired of, yeah. You know, I, I, no, I, I think I, I had lot. even mentioned, I think I had mentioned it briefly, and it said put it into a request. I think I was speaking to Steve. Um, these are in Bengali, if anybody wants any of those. Okay, I'll, I'm just going to put them here, Serial, and we'll give them out at the end, okay? Thank you. Take one. I'm taking one and I'm going to ask, okay, so right to I'm going to, yeah, send me, yeah, I think that we need to have, because of that, we need to have additional, people are familiar with the smart bins, the, there's com, uh, for composting, that are in various parts of, you know, the orange, those big orange bins, that you need an app to be able to open and put your, okay, so, and the one closest to, well, the ones that I know of is, there's one at 207 Street and Hull, it, they're using your schools. So you can take mm -hmm. your organic waste and put them there. But now they have them in your schools. There's one at, I think, at 94, uh, one at King's College. Point. Cambridge, uh, Marshall Luke. The question for the Madam uh, mm -hmm. Chair. Mm -hmm. Madam Chair, as a community activist, uh, sanitation is relying on. Voluntarily doing this. What kind of are they increasing the enforcement on to deal with the ones who do not? Oh, these things? Uh, yeah. On this any, one? Oh, any, yes. Anything. Well, let's let's and say. social people. What well, will be uh, the enforcement? The, one thing at a time. So here, um, come. There's a month that's going from March first to March. Period, thank there's you. that grace period. March first to the March thirty first. This All is these, the honest system. The word I'm looking for. Well, it's not really an honest system. They, they know what they have to do, or they think they, okay. Let's just leave it like that for now. They, they have a month to get their act together, and come April 1st, they will start issuing fines. Oh, thank you. Okay, April 1st is when they start to issue fines, okay? So, um, <laughs> yep, exactly. So, we, we, you know, we, we, they may be extenuating circumstances, I don't know, but that, that, that's for them to, do, you know, when they get fined and then they can say, oh, I didn't know. Well, they will know. So that's why I'd like to see a lot of these signs up on the, in the neighborhoods if you can, you know, even if, even if you just go into a store and say, listen, are you aware that this is going to happen? You know, if you, don't, if you don't see a bin outside, you know, um, Yes, guys. Is this the only way we're uh, marketing these flyers, or are they also taking action from their hands to make Who's sure they? the sanitation? Yes, they actually they'll be going out. They'll be do this. This has been on the radio. This has mm -hmm. been everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, they they blitzing everything all the time. So you know, but it it's it's if you think that it, it there should be other, it'll be in newspapers. You know, I feel like along with newspaper and all that, like social media is a great platform, like he said, uh, mm -hmm. said. Along with that, I feel like sending out emails to store owners rather than just going to store and handing it to an employee, I feel like that would be much more effective. Because when you push the owner, I think that's when things really. Well, that is if, if, if the store owners do actually use email and there is an email address for them. I don't know. The, the store but I will. Don't do the work, so don't do the work. Should, you know, they're the ones doing the work. No, she says email. You're not talking about mail. Are you mailing? No, she means email. email. She said email. I don't know about that. I mean, I will, I will, I will take it back. I'll take it back to DSNY and see what other means they're using. I don't think they have email addresses. For Probably not. No, they don't. This they would be don't. the bids and the merchants associations. Mm, they're, they're the ones who. It's their part of their. But part of their mission is mm -hmm. to inform their their mm -hmm. members of what's going on. So. Yeah, that's why I want to. Not, not that effective in, like, in a way to like, really let everyone know. But yeah, you can bring that up to them. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've noticed most stores happen to have these bins out. Right. Okay. Yeah. But, I, but I, I'm also seeing a lot that don't. I'm really surprised because these are people that communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. And so I'm surprised that I'm not seeing that. Nope. Especially like stores that um, deal in food. That I'm surprised at. I'm really surprised at the ones that I know. I, I haven't traveled on Jerome. I haven't noticed because a lot of the times I don't necessarily be shopping on Jerome Avenue. I'm floating all over the place. Mm -hmm. But I will look as I go by now to okay. see if they have those bins out there. Right. Because before, all you see is 
bags. plastic bags right. all right. over the exactly. place, and they take up the space, and then they know that sanitation does inspections on Wednesdays, so everybody is on their P's and Q's on Wednesdays. But any other day of the week, they just run them up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So but you can they down, probably yeah. threw the bid to, to your point, Cassie, the bid would probably have gotten the email to, like she said, to notify all of the members that this is the new enforcement starting March 1st, and the bid has to make sure that they comply right. because they're going to get fines. Right, exactly. Right. Okay. Uh, is there any rules about the, 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 bid, the bid going out? Does it, is it permanently supposed to be placed on the corner chain to the land post? Right now, from what I understand, it's not... There is no rule whether it has to stay out on the on the sidewalk or it has to be but up against. A rule, the, there is a rule to bring it back in. Well, they have to bring it up against. They can bring it up against bring it against, the building. against their building. But not not in a public access street. Right, mm -hmm. right. They're not to block. Well, there is they, a rule. they they're not to <laughs> block. But right now, that's 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 a lot looser. That that issue is a lot looser, especially if it's not really creating. Um, an obstruction, but you know, but I don't think they'll get fined for that at this point. But again, that's a, that's something that I could also follow up and find out how deep they're going to go on going after the the vendors. You know, they're going to turn a blind eye to that uh, infraction. They may or may not. It'll be up to the community to say, listen, it's blocking black blocking uh, our ability to be able to walk it's across like the street. Parking. It could be double parking on the sidewalk, yes. First and foremost, Betty, we used to have a lot of interaction with the bids, um, particularly uh, Jerome Gunhill and the Fordham bids. Mm -hmm. And I have not seen any of them coming around as of late. Oh, I haven't either. And, and there were some changes. Should be reaching out? Yeah, I told Carla if we would like to have them, mm -hmm. have, have a conversation with them. So that'll be a follow-up because it's not just sanitation, there's some other issues related mm -hmm. to economic development, what are they doing to help, especially like those, you know, those businesses that were burned on mm -hmm. 204 Street, those kinds of things, and I've seen a lot of stores as far up as, you know, Gun Hill Road or whatever that are closed down. What yeah, are they doing? a lot doing? of them are on, Gun, on uh, Jerome Avenue, right. all you see is right, exactly. closed stores. So I had asked Carla, let's, let's, let's have a conversation with all of them or some of them and see what they're doing. and. These kinds of things will need to be brought up. Yeah, because this is an issue. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, anyone else have any other questions about containerization? Okay, so everybody understands that it's month of grace and then full force enforcement come April 1st. Okay. Is it required to have a certain size container? No, it, 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 has, it has to be to fit the capacity of their store, you know. Okay. So could a beauty parlor that what is the deal what is what what kind of garbage do they have right hair clippings i don't know you know however they deal with their containers garbage. probably from doing the hair and stuff like that yeah but you know not not they don't have to have something out there all the time i don't know but again that 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 raised for me the issue of if every business a hair salon tattoo parlor whatever it is uh has to have a, a contract with a private hauler I'm not seeing, when I go by a closed beauty parlor or a bar I'm shop, I'm not seeing garbage out there, so, at all. So, you know, like I said, that's something that, with the bid, mm -hmm. you know, to take up with the bid, to see how, how are they monitoring that, because we're going to be moving, and I don't have it here, and I forgot the name of it, where you had asked a question about, uh, every, every, every vendor has their own hauler. They can contract with whoever they want. But we, there have been complaints about... There've been complaints about the um, all these trucks coming up and down, you know, the the streets and what have you. So they're going to be moving towards zones where there'll be certain number of callers per zone, so that all the vendors can then contract with some of those haulers, so that this ABC hauler will do, you know, a couple of blocks and not have all these all these trucks out there. Um, so what, what they have and the size of their container will, will, is really based on their, the garbage that they put out. They have to be able to fit all their black plastic bags into a container, not have one container and then have some bags on the outside. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, they're going to have to get another container. To I've actually seen that. Yes, exactly, exactly. So 
either they're not doing their, you know, checking out what they have or something's, something's wrong. Yes, sir. Okay, well, clear, clear, to clarify, because I'm a custodian, okay, these bins with the snap-on tops, the lids that lock, mm -hmm. come in a 35 size, 55 gallon, they, whatever business you have, the amount of trash you generate, mm -hmm. There's a bin for you, so yes. it's not one size fits all. Right. It's you. You, you need a, a 10, 10 gallon bin. They'll sell it to you. You need a 25 gallon. So that it goes up to 83. You got to spend the money, the right yeah. thing so for the right person. So they have to purchase them. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they have to purchase. buy them. Yes. Get them free from sanitation. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. why, would, why would sanitation? Sanitation. If you're in business, you got to spend money. Right. Okay? You got to spend money. Help okay. your business. Yeah. Why don't you go to the job? I'm going to the business. I'm sorry. I'm going to get excited. Yeah. Home Depot will hook you up. Okay. Yeah. So that thing there. There was a second part of that. Oh, personally, if my contract is is approved and signed by Heather. The president of the company with MPC. I'm sorry, I got to pause because it's, it, it, they changed the name. Uh, what formerly used to be known as the Marshall Bay Preservation Bay Corporation Bronx is okay. now the Northwest Bronx, mm -hmm. the Northwest Merchants Association. Mm -hmm. I am there, will be hired as their enforcement agent. Okay. That's mm -hmm. why I got the bed. Okay. okay. All right. I apologize. Okay. okay. Kazi, yes. I read it over again. I feel like it's not well detailed. Like, let's say our store owners have a question and things like that. Like, there is no numbers or anything that they can really utilize to, like, ask yeah. any question other than 311. There's also a QR code right here that I scan. But, like, a lot of people don't have, like, an iPhone and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in terms of that, if they can work on another flyer specifying that all type of garbage should be in that bin, and any, like, if it does not fit, if their garbage is not fitted through that size bin, then they can use another one. I feel like there are a lot, a lot of great questions that we are asking and like getting the information, yet it's not on the paper, and it's important to be on the paper so that they're really aware before getting your fine. Mm -hmm. well, that's why they say call 311. <laughs> Everything is in the system on 311. Yeah, wait yeah they have to call 311. They're not going to give them a number <laughs> no, for no, sanitation not, no. to call Everything a sanitation official. The is... sanitation will be inundated with these kinds of calls, so they have they to call 311. And tell them I'm a vendor. I have questions. Blah 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 They're blah. They're navigated. No. Is there a way for them to add like additional details on the paper? No. I don't know. I will ask them. Yeah. Uh, if you can send me what your concerns are, and then I'll forward that and say these are things awesome. that we think might be useful in a future mm -hmm. flyer. If they do that, uh, we can try to do that. Yeah. Okay. And I think we cool. still still go back to the bids and get their assistance and making sure that the merchants know what yeah. they need to do to comply because to Kazi's point, half of that information we're talking about is not on that piece of paper. Yeah. But they may have gotten other stuff. I mean this is this is this is this is just uh something that they've done, but I think they have been getting information prior to this. Okay. They, this has been out since the fall of 2023. So they've known about some of this. And to Jean's point, the bid is the Business Improvement District. That's the organization that oversees businesses. Uh, they, it's like a club of the businesses in a certain area. There's also merchants associations that are smaller and they're usually under the bid. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So these are organizations that are set up to help uh, mom and pop stores and, and vendors be able to navigate a lot of the, uh, the rules and regulations for operating a business in the city. Um, and they're supposed to be able to use that to help them out. Yes, well, I was just gonna say, I'm still getting stale mail from DSNY. I'm amazed at how much I get from them. Mm -hmm. So my guess is the stores are probably getting it. I would double probably check. Do. Yeah, sure. If they do, hopefully it's better. We would have more information. Okay, yes, yeah. Sir. Okay. Bids are the big, big, the big boy on mm -hmm. the block. Okay. They have contracts, not with the store owners, with the, Consumer the, land, the landlords. Whoever owns the buildings mm -hmm. has to sign up with the bid. That's okay. how it works. All right, all right. All right. That, those are, the those small are... association handles merchants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just remember, a lot of the vendors are renting space. Mm 
So they're not the owners necessarily of the building, of the building or whatever. And that's always been an issue because I am an owner of my home and my house and I'm responsible for keeping my area clean. Do the people who rent a space for a business know that they are responsible? Are they the ones that are cleaning up? Does the landlord sending somebody to clean it up? I don't know. Those are questions that, you know, that again is generating more issues, but I don't want to digress because I really need to move on. I'll take one more issue and we have, yes, Anthony. It's more of a clarification. I think they did it because it's a tax issue. Um, you're right when you say about the Merchants Association, you're also correct when you talk about this. However, and I think again, it's a tax structure. They've now created that Merchants Association that Syria was referring to, mm -hmm. and inside of that Merchants Association, Okay. Jerome, uh, Bainbridge, and Webster. And Webster? Webster 204? Right. So, yes. but from what I understand, the, the, um, the umbrella itself. It's called the North. Probably handles, well, it's the name that. The Northwest, mentioned. whatever, whatever. Yeah, okay. handles more direct city, you know, okay. type of thing. So okay. Of All right. Okay, fine. All right. So, be that as it may, um, we'll, you know, let's just make sure that our vendors are aware. They have a month and they can take up whatever questions they have with 311 at this point. And if there's a way that DSNY can provide additional information, we'll see if they can do that. I don't know how good they'll be at issuing another flyer. These are our um, PDFs that uh, we downloaded. So they're not, they're not printing these out. This was our office printed these out for me, okay? So I wanna move on to our um, capital and expense budget. I know that all of you received it. I know that you probably haven't read it. <laughs> I didn't know I received it. Huh? I didn't know I received it. At, at our last board meeting. <laughs> oh, it's in there? Yes, it was in the package. Yes, it was. We got it last time. So I just want to go over some of the things that we, you know, this is our wish list of things. And I, you know, I, I'm, I'm constantly, a lot of this is, this is asking for money to do something, okay? This is not to take an action, which is different. To take an action is different than asking for money for uh, something. So I'm just going to quickly go over some of the things that we requested for. This is for 2025. This is what's coming up. Mm. So we talked about cleaning the catch basins. Um, because we do get a lot of flooding um, that overflows following rainstorms and when hydrants are open and especially along certain corridors that, that are listed in our, uh, and I would, I'm not gonna go into detail because you all, you should have this and should go looking at it. So the response from the city, one of the city agencies is, please contact the agency directly and promptly for more information. So that would be DEP. So that'll be a follow-up with DEP. My question is, this, this type of thing, this is where when people, um, whether they're stores or homeowners, don't sweep and clean up the gutter. They're, they're, they're 18 inches of gutter. All that stuff ends up going into catch mm -hmm. basins and drains and gets clogged and so when it rains then that stuff starts to you know when yeah, it rains it, it pours yeah, and it over floods however we also want to make sure that DEP is periodically cleaning them as they should so that they are able to accept whatever garbage because garbage is going to get down there no matter what so we want to make sure that they do take care of that so I will follow up with DEP and hopefully have an answer as to what we can do so we can eventually take this off our list and move on to other things that we need. Quick question for you mm -hmm. quickly, Betty. Yeah. So because Mishula Parkway has all of the trees and stuff like the that, leaves, and a yes. lot of the leaves get yes. down in the catch basins, yes. and they're very particular, like if you don't identify the exact catch basin, at one of the meetings we realized mm -hmm. that there are numbers on those catch basins, so you can't say, because I remember AJ saying, but if it's between this street and this street, mm -hmm. then they don't recognize it. But you got to go to the catch basin and actually get the number off of it. Okay, okay so. I don't know. I will ask. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll. You see? Yeah. You got to show me. You can look really close. They'll be in great in certain spots. Yes, sir. Um, so that's something that we can follow. So yeah. we'll never be able to take it off here, really. 
Um, well, you know, the ones that we have on our on our list, you know, identify. So I'll put down identify. Yes, I just want to mention that right now they're doing it. We were told once every two years. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can at least get the schedule increased in certain areas. Mm -hmm. and, and there's one other thing. If you pass one of these catch basins and it has a bad odor, you can call 311 and they will come. Because occasionally <laughs> the, it, it happens where yeah. it's just, you know, it just needs to be done. A critter or something is falling. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I know the, the super of my building was complaining and he alerted me to it. And it was it. Just Maybe sometimes it stuff accumulates yeah. and then it kind of yeah. sits there and just kind of like starts to run. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So the other thing for at least some place like Mashula Parkway is that the park is the Department of Parks supposed to make sure cleaning the leaves mm -hmm. from that area. That's something that they need to do. So we'll I'll, I put down identify catch basin. They, they also put poison in for the mosquitoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The, the catch basin. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why you see all those different colors. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Each one represents a different year. Okay, so let me move on. Okay. Uh, which is the other one? Department of Sanitation. Increase enforcement of canine waste laws. This is never going to happen. This is a <laughs> nationwide. It's a nationwide problem. It's and not something enforcement of canine? canine, you know, getting people to pick up the dog poop. Oh, really? But, but there is none. But there is none. There is well, there's right. There's no way to enforce it, right? No. Well, no. We should go back and check the dog. my question. There is no way to enforce it unless every, unless sanitation with the higher an, uh, 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 an enforcement officer for yeah. almost every block. I mean, it's a just impossible. Go out there and it. <laughs> huh? Dogs in the city, a million, a million officers. Yeah, for one for so every dog. For many, yeah. That's where the officer for each segment, like area, community, like Norwood or Bedford Park, like one yeah. officer. But they won't. What would they? Right? What would they be doing around? How are they going mm -hmm. to enforce it? Well, I'm walking my dog, and people walk the dogs all hours of the day and night. Yeah. I know that was my question. Well, well, who? If they know someone is, is they so can, they, it though. can be right. done, but yeah. you have to have. I saw this individual with a pit bull that was wearing a harness, a red harness, mm -hmm. at six o'clock in the morning. Every morning, he walks this dog on X Y Z block right. and never picks up. Mm -hmm. That's the extent of what you can do. And if they can, because right now they just have two enforcement officers for this that will come out if they can, when they can, and maybe sit and watch and see this individual. So then what happens? You approach the individual. He hasn't got any ID on him. I don't, when I walk my dog, I don't carry ID. So how are you going to give a fine to someone who doesn't have an ID? You're going to arrest them? Take the dog in? I mean, it, it, it's... it's so we just have to deal with it. What we need is, it's really... You've got to get people to. This is a, this is my whole issue with sanitation, personal responsibility. People have to care. Care. People have to care about their community. They have to care about you know others. Um, if you have a dog, why would you leave that behind if that could contain a disease that later mm -hmm. on could affect your dog mm -hmm. as well as, as as well as a human. So this is where we are. You know, when people send their kids out to walk the dog, oh, yeah. what kid is going to want to pick up dog right. poop? Yeah. They only worry what about, about more cameras. They never worry about what comes out of the other end. Right. What yeah. about more cameras? I mean, but Big Brother's watching already, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. What about more cameras with that? A lot of it, well, you, you, you'd have to put cameras everywhere, like on residents. You know, usually you can put cameras on commercial. Right. But putting cameras, I mean, you have cameras that people have in buildings but and what have you. Yeah, but they have the schools and whatever because they have cameras. But you can't put cameras on residential blocks, you know. Yeah. It's just not. Yeah. Right, exactly, exactly. I don't think it's to them. Right, and no, you can't write tickets. How are you going to write a ticket? I see you and you're not picking up. How do I know who you are? So, really, this is, this is really about personal responsibility. We've got to figure out. How do you get people to care about anything related to sanitation? How do you get people to care not to take their household garbage mm -hmm. and put it at the corner? How do you get people to mm -hmm. care about being able to carry an empty cup? I saw this the other day. An empty cup and finding a, a receptacle. Walk back yeah. to the commercial strip and put it in the garbage or take it home and put it in your own garbage. Yeah. How do you get people to care not to... Um, 
when they leave their building to put, if, if your building has a, locks their the garbage area after a certain hour, can you hold on to that garbage until the morning, until the it's open, and not put it right there at the gate where the sign know. says, do not leave garbage? I don't know. You know, when the building is closed. Like I mean, believe care. it or not, in other, in other countries, in other countries, it is clean, 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 clean. Yes. clean. The yes. 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 you can eat it off the sidewalk. I know. And they will fine you, and the cops drive around. Yeah. So but this, but, but they're small, the because they're smaller, Dale, these are smaller you. communities. Mm -hmm. We have, air, no, we have large communities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they have, but they have. Betty, it. Hmm? You go to Florida, you don't see that. You don't but see you that. have, you see, understand in Florida yeah. where you have homes, where people own their homes. This, you can go to a lot of neighborhoods in the Bronx where people own their homes. There isn't even alternate site parking because they don't need to, because those homeowners come out and sweep and clean and take care of their block. Even in Fordham Road, you don't see all that poop all over the place. Because you don't have people walking their dogs yeah, on. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's more of a commercial more area. Yeah. That's commercial. Sorry. Anyway, let me, take, let me take board members and then I'll... Oh, and then, okay. Okay. Well, are you suggesting we take this off? No, I'm just letting you know that this is not something that... I mean, we, we need to uh, brainstorm. Let me just ask oh, you. Right. It's brainstorming on what we can do, how to get people... How do we, how do we touch people's... Hearts and conscience. Okay. Yeah. What about the idea? I don't think we put it down, and I know it would be it's a hard sell. But going back to the whole education, yeah, that would be know, part of it. Yes, yes, yes. You yes, know, getting yeah. the comic books, however, whether it's virtual or paper. Or no, we have the, we, we have to kind of like I don't come back. Put that no, no, we there. didn't. We because we were just doing. Well, let's get enforcement for next time. Maybe we could add that or. Yeah, we need to redo yeah, okay. this. Be more so um, detailed the, about the education kids, part. You know, we you know. Have very good comic books. But you know that that, that doesn't always you know that's towards it's the one, kids. One I mean, yeah, I mean we need to get to people, not just on dog waste, on just on. How do you stop being a litter bug? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you how do you how do you care? How do you make people care? Yeah, exactly. Yes, uh, Kazi. And he has you're just, you're the board member. You go first, and then I, he's had a lot of time, and he's yeah, he's got to be still back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm the voice of reason. Yeah, be still yes. over there. He's still my heart. So when it comes to that, I feel like yes, we want to touch people's heart and like really get them to care. In New York City. In like for them specifically, I don't think sympathy and like these type of things would work. More so I feel like accountability, holding them accountable. And one way to do this, fine seems harsh, and yes, it does, but like it is bad. Uh, I remember when my per my parents got first fine, they were like over like they were very really stressed out. But I feel like that's one way to really hold people accountable when it comes to like store owners, homeowners. I feel like these people should be accountable rather than the rents, and I have said this before, and I'll say it again, I feel like that is one way. Yes, we want to do education, yes, we want to do comic books and everything, but does people have the time to really go over comic books? Mm -hmm. Does people have like time to attend? Because people are students, they're doing education, they're doing jobs, nine to five, life is hard, and like New York City in general. I feel like one way to push is like, accountability, and like getting money from them. If you're not following the rules, then they're getting money from you. To get people involved who clean up. Yeah, I just don't see it. Like, I don't. I just don't know how to reach people's heart other than That's like she said, yeah. it's hard. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Go yeah. to the pocket. No, you're right. So it's a. Yeah. To, to, we talked about it's a balance. It's the enforcement. <laughs> You got it. You know, we've got to. You you know what you have to do. Yeah. For the most part, people do clean, do whatever you have to do, and if you don't, you're going to get fined. Mm -hmm. At the same time, find ways in which we can reach out to people. And I'm not saying to be like sympathetic. I'm saying. What would incent what, what what are the incentives for people to take care of them of, of their community? Do the That's right all. Thing. Do the right thing. It's doing the right thing. You know, we asked the question, why do people litter? And oh, because there aren't enough garbage cans. But when you put the garbage cans out, they fill it up with all their household mm -hmm. stuff. Um, sanitation can't come down every single residential block and, and, and pick up all the garbage. So why is it that in some communities people do take care of their things? You know, why, right. why is that? Right. And One more comment to add on. I feel like another thing is sanitation should be taking also responsibly to provide them with like equipment that they can utilize. To like clean. who? You mean like commercial people equipment? 
like if stores. That works, I mean, I don't think they need that. They, every store sweeps. They all they have to do is sweep their. They don't have to sweep the the the, the, the block. They got to sweep their 25, 30, 50 feet. That's all they have to do, and they only have to do it twice a day, if at all. You know, just try to keep it as clean as possible. Yeah. That's all it is. It's not. It's not they don't. They sometimes, don't, sometimes, but as soon as you sleep, I'm a phone. As soon as I sleep. I come back out. Yes. Somebody is oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. totally agree. So I would have to sit on my push all day and just sweep. <laughs> right. Sweep. I, got, I got ticketed several years ago when I was working full time. I cleaned at 6.30 in the morning because there was a, a, some papers that were, I lived near school, so there, there was all this paper. I cleaned it up. I bagged it, and I had garbage bags on my, in my driveway, not on the street, on, in my driveway. I went to work, and I got ticketed for having for some napkins, because it was, I actually said it was napkins that were in front of my, and because I had garbage bags. <laughs> I fought it, and I still lost. So I had to pay the $100 fine. Oh. So, you know, they were, they were much harsher <laughs> many, many years ago than they are now. After COVID or during COVID, they really relaxed. During COVID, they totally relaxed all the regulations. And I kept fighting and said, I don't see why you have to do that unless someone in that household is, has been you know, drastically affected by COVID, that they can't come out and sweep in front of their house. You know, I mean, we're not asking them to go out down the block. Just sweep in front of your house and keep that clean and, and your gutter clean. That's all you have to do. But anyway, I'll move on. Yes, Cyril. Uh, do I have the floor? Yes, you do. <laughs> no, because some other people had their hands. Hold yeah. on, Cyril. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hold on, Cyril. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just want to go back to the agency responses. And I suggest everybody read it. The link is right in the agenda. Uh, budget exposes possibly the board not reaching out directly to the agencies. I want to ask why or why not. Specifically with request 26, it says COVID equals more rats. I wanted to ask what was the science or sources or reasoning behind this request? Why hasn't this been uh, as okay, the suggestion? Okay, excuse me, excuse me. That's Department of Mental and Hygiene, so I can't answer that question. Yeah, it's a sanitation. Which one? The rats. COVID brought around more rats. 26. 26. 26. Request 26. Animal and pest control request? That's not sanitation. Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, yeah. But isn't like rats running around the sanitation? Department of Mental and yeah. Pe that's, that's what, the, yeah. The mitigation for rats is always, on, okay. unfortunately, because they, rats, um, Transmit disease. Yeah. The same thing why so the Senate, why the men, uh, okay. uh, Department of Health handles dog licenses. Okay. You know. So Miss Michelle. Michelle okay. up here, right. And then yeah. with that number thirty one enforcement of dog poop, is that really a priority for the district? And if so, which no. proof sources or citations for this? Money is very tight, the board keeps saying, so why waste this time on this? The definition of crazy is doing the same thing over and over and expecting Correct. results. And I agree with you. I am going it out crazy. And put in new, uh, new requests to actually get work. Because a lot of the requests are only one line with no sources, no information backing it up, which is easy for the agencies to say, contact us directly to let us know or whatever's going on. But I feel like the board is wasting the opportunity and our tax dollars requesting basically nothing to be told you're not getting anything because the description in the request was garbage. Thank you. You're welcome. And to get people to care, let them speak at the meetings, and they might actually turn up to come to these okay. meetings where it's their taxes going to these services that they should be requesting, not the board telling the public what they want. The public tells the board what they want. Thank you. So, you know, who's Slater over here? Do you have a question? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> regarding the dog place, I'm wondering about public service campaign, radio, mm -hmm. TV, short yeah. little things. Keep That's what we're talking about here, yeah. You know, kind of, kind of taking it away from just enforcement, you know, find, trying to figure out how you find people for this and finding other ways. And yeah, so we're gonna go back and redo this and maybe take it out of the budget request mm -hmm. and make it so something else that we yeah. will then come with a plan for PSAs, um, you know, anything that we can come up with uh, that will be helpful. And also, I'm gonna do some research on what other cities are doing and see what's going on. You know, are they doing a better job of just getting the word out? Um, that kind of thing. Yeah, we need to do that. One of the problems is, is that the Department of Health, going back to AJ's issue about rats, they also handle dog licenses, and they don't even enforce that. So if we had yes. a way, it got them to really enforce getting every dog licensed, they would have a roster. They would know where the dogs mm -hmm. are, for the most part. And, uh, and that could be a start of something, mm -hmm. you know. Because the data would be there. Right, exactly. So we don't have that kind of data. You know, mm -hmm. we don't have that. 
But anyway. Can I have uh, a question? What's the, like, the environment part of the environment and sanitation then? That would be things like uh, the kinds of issues that are going on with, like right now with climate change. So yeah. I'm, I'm trying to move our committee to start looking more yeah. at those environmental issues. There are actually some things coming up with the city with clean oil, yeah. where a lot of the buildings are going to have to switch their yeah. oil use mm -hmm. from, um, from number 10 to, I think it's from number 10 to number Good four. Night. Good, Good night, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And uh, some other things that we, I, I'm trying to look at those kinds yeah. of things. So there is uh, a group. Yeah, like water. I mean, yeah. water. Water, yeah. you know, those the kinds of issues. Types, they yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So because I want to look at more of those yeah. environmental issues because that is really serious for us yeah. here. Wouldn't like, the increase in rats and stuff like that be considered climate change as well? And, like, I don't understand how that's mental health, where like the pandemic, especially with all the drug No, use, it's not mental health, it's, it's, it's Department yeah. of Health yeah. issues, yeah. transmission, oh, but right. it is, but there is a, there is a, a, com there is okay. a crossover, absolutely. So I'm the one that I get the information on the Rat Academies and stuff like that. Oh, and I will send out the information that I got today, folks, on, on the Rat Academy, the, you know, they are, they are continuing to provide the Rat Academy, uh, and I'll send out the information. March 27th, I know that I signed up for the Rat Academy on March 27th. It's virtual, um, but there's also something else going on, and I, I, I apologize that I was rushing out when I was reading it. I put it out on, on the Rat Academy as well, um, something that we can also host and do something around that issue. So yeah, so yeah, there is, a, even with quality of life, there's a lot of, you know, overlap. overlap on a lot of these kinds of things because it affects all of us one way or the other. Um, so the, the Department of Health is the one that puts out those rat bait things. Uh, yeah. That's why they yeah. handle that. And with the issue with the dogs is because, and they also oversee the uh, animal care and control because Breaking. however however animals affect humans as opposed to what's what's best for the animal. Yeah, you know, so those are, those are issues that I've also been interested in because right. you know that I do uh, cat rescue. So. That, that kind of thing is, is, is something that we need to look at it down the line. But definitely, I would like to take this out and make it more. And the thing is, AJ, you have to understand that when we do these, they give us with so much information that we can yeah. put into these things. Yeah. Um, there is another document that has uh, a lot more information that provides more data, yeah. but we can't always put it into, because it has to yes, fit no. these kinds of things. Well, so. I submitted a whole list of requests the board didn't hear them for some reason, where they heard all the requests from the public, but you can fill in more of the description to give them a sense of why you want it, yeah. or to explain like the source of the citation to give them a reason why it should be, instead okay. of making it easy for them just to say no, or contact us directly okay. to give them more information. Thank all you right. so much. Okay, who had a question or issue? Anyone? Yes, Serial. Uh, comment, please. <laughs> Are you finished with all this? Because we have got 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah we've got, can we, we need, I need to finish up, and Jean just reminded you, I just want to go through our list here, okay? So definitely we'll do that. Um, the inspection of hydrants and repair or replace is needed. Um, so this really shouldn't need, need to be here because it's, it's not a budget issue. This is really an action issue, so I'm, I'm so going to... So inspection and hydrogen should take it out? Yeah, I'm going to... Well, I have a lot of things we can take it out. I have to find out from Carla and from your hire if these can be removed. They're not going to be priorities for us. Let me put it that way. Um, the other one, Department of Building... I think that should be a priority because Mr. Serio even has pictures here today about the fire hydrants. Right, but yeah, but not for yeah. budget. Not, not, that, not as a budget issue. Okay, uh, but isn't there allocation for the fire department in the budget? Because there's a fire department right there in Bedford. I don't know if um, any money goes from the board to them. They, but this is always handled by the DP. DP, okay. Yeah, they do that. That's DEP, so. Just the fire department's the they use it. They use it, yeah. to, and everybody DP else, it, yeah. and anybody else who has an access <laughs> to a wrench. So let's not, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stop here on this one. Uh, Serial, yeah. I'll follow up with you on these two things. Well, am I allowed to speak yet? Sure, go ahead. Is this the one? Is this the one at St. Mary's? No. Is this the same one? That is. Uh, I wanted. To, I got two statements. Okay. Oh going back to the original. <laughs> going back to the original universal question of why. The all-knowing all father. When I talked to my three sons, he hung up on me in the house. Oh my goodness. Is that? The reason why people do things is based on personality, the cult of personality. 
And it's very simply answered. You can figure out what kind of person you are. If you look at a glass and it's half full or half empty. The other, the other scenario about doing things is, you know, the tree falls in the forest and it doesn't make a sound. So think about that. And the third one is, when you're at the shopping mall with your automobile and you get your shopping cart out of the corral, go shopping into the store, unload the shopping cart. If you're the person who walks it back to the corral, or are you a person who leaves it there and that makes it somebody else's problem? <laughs> and that is the answer to why people don't do anything because of their personality. So you're never going to change personality and you can't control personality, and you can't teach personality. <laughs> no, you cannot teach personality to your children. Okay. Now, going to the high school. I came here today because I have seen the light. We, me, and, me and Betty are on, we are kindred spirits on this, about the open hydrants, the free, free water in the summer. And meanwhile, co-ops, co-ops, Gene Hill's place, Tracy. private ownership, big multi-million dollar landlords, not the slumlords, <laughs> the, the, the upstanding landlords, all paying water bills. Yeah. And the city is allowing people to steal water because it has a value, and we need to make a movement well, to... Yeah. I need to let other people speak. What is it? You at least get an amnesty to uh, uh, single homeowners who can't afford to pay a water bill or keep their lights on or send their kids to college. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. So that's a movement we need to Lady do. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you mentioned your email address. And all sure. Oh, absolutely. Sure. It's W I H A K E at gmail.com. H A K E at gmail.com. I'll send you a note to so you yeah, can have mine. Yeah, yeah. I think I do have you yours. Have the board has yeah. Mine. So yeah, but I think I may. But just send me a note on on your concerns, questions, uh, their you know comments, and I will. And the next meeting is this May. And our next meeting is in May, although. I have been talking to the uh, quality of life, mm -hmm. and uh, with Parks and Recreation, we may be doing a joint meeting of the Parks and Recreation on the uh, Tibbetts uh, daylighting. So we may have to have a public hearing. So that may be a, a joint meeting. I have to see when Barbara can do that. And with quality of life, Samantha wants to see if we could do something. So we'll figure that out. But definitely. Uh, I will, the notice will be going out when our next meeting is. I want to thank everyone. Please get home safe um, and uh, share this information with store owners or with friends or whatever. Um, and like I said, if you have anything you have you'd like me to know, please let me know. I do respond to emails. Okay? Good night, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion to close the meeting. Second. Thank you.